Today, I am going to show you how to create this AI aging time lapse videos. It's not as hard as you think it is. In fact, all we need is stable diffusion and an extension called deform. But hold on. Just in case you're a user who is intimidated by stable diffusion, don't worry I got you covered. I will not only show you how to do these AI aging time lapse videos, but I will also show you how to install stable diffusion with only one click. You see, when I first made this channel, I was still experimenting with what the channel was going to exactly be about. I knew it was going to be about AI. However, I never thought I'd be going over AI tools and teaching AI. My goal was just to create an AI channel and since AI was booming and trending. During that time, I created these short form videos with the intention to bring in some subscribers. When I first made them, I was like, this is going to go viral. It didn't. However, lately these videos have been getting some views which have attracted a lot of curiosity and I've been getting comments like this. So, although I didn't go viral with these AI aging time lapse videos, I did attract some viewers who wanted me to show them how I did it. With that being said, let's get started. First you'll need stable diffusion. To do this, head over to Pinocchio.computer and install and launch Pinocchio. From there click on the discover button then find stable diffusion. It'll look like this. Install it. Once you're done, you should have an interface that looks like this. From here, we will need to install the deform extension. To do this, click on the extensions tab, then click on available. Click the load from button, then in the search box type deform. Click on install. Once it's installed, close Stable Diffusion and Pinocchio, then relaunch Pinocchio and Stable Diffusion. Perfect. Now we need to install a custom checkpoint. At the time, on my old short form videos, I used a model called Realistic Vision. However, for this video, since it's a newer model, I'll be using the model Epic Photogasm. So head over to CivitAI.com and download this model. The link will be in the description. To install it, find your Pinocchio install folder. For me, it's located in my D drive. And my file path is this. Yours will differ depending on the drive you install Pinocchio. Drop the safe tensor model file into your models folder and now we are ready to go. If you don't see the epic photogasm model here, click on this blue refresh icon. Let's get started. First, we will need a positive prompt. For me, I used raw photo, portrait of, 25 year old man, and casual clothes, centered, close up. Add an open and close parenthesis to 25 year old man like this. Also, feel free to add an ethnicity such as Asian, Polynesian, Hispanic, etc. to your positive prompt. Next, we need to set our width and height. I'll use 512 by 768 as my resolution. I'll leave the rest of the settings as default. However, feel free to adjust your settings to your liking, such as adding more steps or changing your sampling method, etc. Next, generate an image. If your first image doesn't come out to your liking, keep generating until you get the composition you want. Another thing you could do to get the composition you want is by using Control Net. Once you find the image you want to use, keep track of that seed and send the image over to Control Net. Enable Control Net and select Open Pose. If you don't use Open Pose, your model's pictures will be all over the place. Now, for the positive prompt, let's adjust the age from a 25-year-old man to a 5-year-old. In my videos, I've created 6 different age variations. These are 5, 10, 25, 35, 55, and 75 years old. Let's go ahead and produce these 6 versions. Once you have the 6 variations, create a folder for your project and name each image accordingly to stay organized. Next, we need to go to imager.com or any image hosting site and upload our 6 images. Once we have the 6 images uploaded, create a text file in your organized folder. I name mine info.txt, you can name it anything you want. Right click on each image in order such as 5 year old, 10 year old etc and select copy image address, paste the image addresses into your txt file. Once you have all 6 image urls saved in your txt file, head back to stable diffusion and now we are going to need to go to the deform tab here. Follow along because this will be the exact settings I use. Remember in the beginning of this tutorial I told you to take note of the seed once you find an image you like, well this is why. If you didn't take note of your image seed, don't worry here is how to get it. Go to the PNG Info tab here. Now drag and drop your main image from your output folder here. It will show you your seed information. Now, copy that seed and go back to the forum. In the deform tab, for seed, paste in your seed. Next, set your resolution. My settings were 512 by 768. I don't bother with restore faces, but feel free to use that if you wish. Next, go to keyframes tab. For my videos, I do normally do 30 seconds to one minute videos, however, for this tutorial we will do a 30 second video. So set your max frames to 480. Now, everything else should be default, except for the zoom settings. Change this to 0 colon 1 like this. Be sure to have the parenthesis. Next, under the C tab, select fixed. Now, here under guided images, you'll need to add your imager.com URLs here. 
Make sure they are in order. As for these settings, these are your frames, zero being the first frame. Change out these to be frames. For this tutorial it would be 80, 160, 240, 320, 400 would be the last each. It should now look like this. Now, we need to go to the props tab. Here, we need to change the frames and the props. In the default settings there are only 4 frames, we need to correct this. However, this last prompt shouldn't have a comma at the end. So select this prompt and copy and paste it 2 more times. To get a total of 6 prompts and starting frames. Now adjust your frames just like we did previously. Now we need to set our prompts. Go back to the text to image tab and grab our positive prompt. Copy and paste it within the quotes. Adjust the age accordingly such as 5, 10, 25 year old etc. Once that is done, we need to go into our init tab, because we are in it to win it. Check use in it and set the strength to 1. For the init image, use your first guided image URL, the image address for the 5 year old picture. Now, we need to make sure we don't have any errors in our JSON data. All it takes is accidentally deleting a comma or quote and you'll cause yourself a ton of headaches. So trust me, this next step is crucial. If you go back into the prompts tab, you'll see this important notes, click to expand that. Read that for more information, now you'll see a JSON validator link, click that. We are going to copy and paste our prompt to make sure there is no JSON data error. So, go back to Stable Diffusion and copy and paste your prompt into the JSON validator. Be sure to select everything. Click on Validate. If everything is all good, you'll see valid JSON. However, let me delete one of these quotes in the line to show you how easy it is to mess up with JSON. And just like that, by missing a simple quote which can sometimes get deleted when you're copying and pasting things, you'll get an error like this. So if you do run into an error, it will tell you what line the error is on in this example line 6. So, do the same for the keyframes guided images section, in other words, check that JSON data as well. If all is good, the next step is to simply click generate. Be patient, this can take some time, once it's done, you should have results similar to this, keep in mind, results will vary and sometimes you'll need to generate more than once to get the results you want. And voila, that's the secret recipe for turning a sweet, young kid into a wild, raging, middle-aged convict. All thanks to the magic of Stable Diffusion Deforum. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on more AI fun. Also, if you stay till the end of the video, here is the link to the prompt so you can just copy and paste these prompts into Stable Diffusion. Till next time, this is AI Controversy signing off.